Hey everyone, welcome to the new series. This time we're playing Football Manager 2021 on the Xbox One. We're going to give ourselves a challenge for this series by starting out unemployed and trying to go from zero to hero. Can we become a Football Manager legend? Stick around to find out. So we are currently looking at the job vacancies and to be honest there's really not much on offer. There's a position currently going out going at Vanarama South Club Dorking Wanderers, so it could be a good starting point. Will they be interested in our services? Let's apply and find out. So would you believe it? It looks like we've impressed the board in the interview and have landed a one year deal at the club. Let's start our journey from zero to hero. So the chairman has given us a brief history of the club that we are taking over. The facilities here are not great, especially as it looks like the training ground is located on the local playing fields. Oh well, we'll just have to do our best with what we have on offer. So the club seems pretty happy where they currently are and are only looking at a playoff spot. They really don't have much more ambition to go any higher. Maybe we can change their minds after being here in charge for a while. Or is this going to be a stepping stone to greater things? Only time will tell. Well the squad is pretty fed bare and it really needs some new additions. Thankfully we have a small budget and hopefully we'll be able to bring in some free transfers and loans. Let's have a look at the tactics. So as you can see we are looking up to set up with a 4-4-2 diamond formation. I want to give the fans an attacking style of football and we are looking to play a tiki taka style of play. Ok, I know it sounds madness to be playing that in a Vanarama South but who knows it might just work. So the first player to leave the club is Sam Alabd. This was already agreed when we took over, but it will also free up some wages on the wage bill. We are now a little short at the centre back position, now we'll have to make a signing or two to help strengthen that department. So we've played our first game of pre-season. It was a hard fought victory of a League 2 side Port Vale. We didn't create many chances, but thanks for a goal from Jimmy Mute, we ran out 1-0 winners. Here's the match statistics and the goal highlights from the game. We have made our first signing for the club and have welcomed young Dutch centre-back Justin Cranthrove to the club on a free transfer as well as pacey wing back Joel Whittingham who has also joined the club. Hopefully we'll have more players coming in soon. Well I've now played our second game of pre-season. What can I say, we absolutely demolished Tiverton 7-0. The star of the match was young forward Alfie Rutherford who scored a hat-trick within 10 minutes of coming on as a sub. Fantastic performance from the boys. Here's the match statistics and the goal highlights from the game. So we've snapped up young promising attacking midfielder Michael Saunders. He will certainly add depth to the squad and I hope he'll be pushing for a starting place soon. So our third friendly of the season has finished and we've run out 4-0 winners against Tooting and Mitchin. It was another fine performance from the lads 
and we are still yet to concede a goal this far in the pre-season. Here's the match statistics and the goal highlights from the game. So that's all of the pre-season friendlies completed and we have remained undefeated after a 2-1 win over Crystal Palace Reserves. Here's the match statistics and the goal highlights from the game. We have a month now until the season starts, so we might need to see if we can arrange some few more friendlies to keep the fitness up with the lads and hopefully improve things even more with the team. So we've made another addition to the club, we have brought in Oli O'Dwyer. He's certainly going to bolster the centre back department and now give us plenty more options in that department. We have arranged some more friendlies and have beaten Greys, 5-0 in the latest one. It was another good performance from the lads and most of the first team had a run out. Here's the match statistics and the goal highlights from the game. So in our latest friendly, we managed to fight back from being 1-0 down to win 2-1 against a good Boston United side. I hope we can show the spirit with the league campaign starts. Here's the match statistics and the goal highlights from the game. Unfortunately, attacking midfielder James McShane has picked up an injury and we're out to six or seven weeks. Hopefully someone is ready to step up and fill his spot. He has been performing well, so it will be a big miss. So the final game of pre-season has finished and we've run out. 5-3 winners over Merthyr, with Jimmy Mute getting four. Here's the match statistics and the goal highlights from the game.
The pre-season campaign has been excellent and we have certainly shown what we can achieve. It's definitely given me hope for the upcoming campaign. So that's it for the first episode. Join us next time to see how we get on in the FA Cup qualifying round as well as starting out our league journey as we try to go from zero to hero.